Hi all and welcome to the video. I guess it's time to get started. Now, the mission has popped itself on there and it's given us um, many many locations to look at in fact probably more than I can shake a stick at but they're all way south so I thought before we go we should uh, call in with the rune right the world's never ending creation be praised indeed let's see what you're peddling wouldn't mind a glance at what you got okay so I've thus far I've repaired pretty much everything I've built all this, I'm going to dump that in the stash for now. That's the Viper gear, I'm not sure what to do with it. It's it, it's pretty good actually, it's very resistive for medium armour. Um, you can see there. But I haven't done any, any enchantments or runestones on it. And then we've got Iris. Uh, weapon charges when with energy during combat. When its colour changes to red, a strong attack will release this energy in an extra powerful strike at the cost of the attacker's vitality. Now, I don't know how much vitality that is, but we lose the adrenaline point gain. We lose the crit bonus. So, yeah. I'm a bit undecided on that one for now. I think I may put it in the stash. Definitely not going to just sell it. Now, I had a few bits I was going to dismantle. And I was going through just checking, seeing how far down I could get Geralt's weight. I decided to probably sell these. I don't know if they're worth a lot. And I came across this. And I thought, needed for a request. And we never ever did get that quest. But now I come to dismantle it. We've got... Count Romilly's will and an ornate key. So we're doing that. Yep, I thought so. Thanks. So long. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm uh, going to have a quick look at this. So that's got to be a secondary. Or is I, I've got to check my inventory first, do I? Let's have a look. I got that quest music then. You heard it as well. Yeah, there we go. Count Romilly's will. To, my, to Robert, my son, if you've received the figurine, it means your father has departed this veil of tears. I know we've had no contact for many years, but I hope the contents of the chest opened by the key with it included with will in some small way compensate for all the lost time you'll find the chest at the underground quarters of my family home on Scorn Castle so okay Let's see if that triggers anything it did okay so a dark legacy so what's that actually given okay well that's still part of hearts of stone so we're not 100% done even though this is playthrough number one of blood and wine but we can't just pass this up so while at Borsodi's auction Geralt bid on an insignificant sum on a strange figurine why you ask perhaps it was that famed witch's intuition for after dismantling the figurine Geralt found he had also become the owner of a letter and a heavy ornate key. The letter, he discovered, was Count Romilly's last will and testament, and he learned treasure might be hidden in Aronscone Castle. So, where is it? Uh, it's not a gazillion miles away, which is pretty handy. The reason I came to this guy is he can build anything as well as do the uh, the runes etc which we couldn't have with well we'd have to keep swapping around we'd be going between the barons compound I keep calling it the barons compound it's not the barons anymore where's roach ah, there you go so 
we'd have been going Come between on, there, then going back to... Oh, that way. Okay. I was thinking down the other road. Yeah, we would have been flitting between the two, and it's just easier, really, to come directly to this guy who can do swords, he can do armour, he can do... Well, everything, really. So, yeah, he's, he's kind of a one-stop shop. <laughs> now then. Not sure if I've ever been in. Have I ever been here? I'm sure I've been here. I just Not so fast, Roach. want to check it out. We've obviously discovered it. I think we came here for some Witcher gear. I'm not sure. It was guarded treasure and Witcher gear. Can we even get there? And barricaded. Oh, the... Yeah, the... I remember. Yeah, I know what this was. This was the Red Brotherhood guys was, were camped out here. I remember now. Yeah, we... Uh, it didn't go well for them. It never does if you challenge Garrett like that. So yeah, that's that's all she wrote. I really, really, ri thank you. Enjoyed the um, the Hearts of Stone expansion. It was very challenging in places, um, both from a gameplay point of view, but as much as that from what we've no come to know and love with Witcher Three, which is of course, you know, the the sort of emo the moral challenges he faces. It's what really makes the game quite as good as it is, as well as everything else. So, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Slow now. I have. I've been there. I've been there. Can we get down it? Would I have been better on foot? It wasn't a massively long way, was it? Not really. Okay. I'm trusting little white line. This, not like it hasn't sent me wrong a, a hundred times, but yeah, it should be okay. I think. So, Forest. I do remember running through here, and it was pretty creepy. As if, <laughs> as if by magic. Can you get up there? You probably can't, can you? Okay. Yeah, Garrett can. Oh, come and get you later. Don't worry, Roach. I'm sure I'm going to need you very shortly. And scum, right. I think we've been here as well. Yeah, we have. There's, there's, there was guarded treasure. Can't remember what by, but we beat it, whatever it was. That's the actual castle there. Search the ruins. There's still a something here. So nothing jumping out on Witcher senses just yet, but down inside here then maybe sure I came here and did a bit of looting as well I'm positive I did in fact there's no loot kind of tells me that I've been here yeah, there's a chest there was loot flashed up then didn't it a lot of books on which your senses yet. Can I not? No. Is this? No, that's not it. Aha, a red chest. Have I not? Have I not? 
unlocked. Oh. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I think I found a lot more exciting stuff previously. Except for that chest. Okay, so. Contract. Uh, look for a new contract on the notice boards of Velen. So, okay. Let's get to it. It's still pretty creepy. So, the nearest one for us, I guess. It's a fair way in any direction, really, isn't it? I suppose... We could head back to Novograd. Uh, not Novograd, then... Um, Oxenfurt. I think I'll get out of these woods first though I don't think uh, I don't think this is a great place to start on a horse get out to a yeah see we'd have been stuck on the horse there so okay let's find our way out of here then I'll grab roach then we'll ride to Oxenfurt, pick up the contract. Okay, this looks good. Let's summon Roach from here. Wherever he's... Okay. Camouflage horse. Faster. What now, you piece of filth? Okay. Can't do that. They're no longer gallop. Roach is stuck. That's where Roach is going to stay for a, a little while. So sorry for the earlier diversion, but because that popped up, I was pretty terminally curious about that. Okay, where is the notice board? It's just down there. Interesting. Right. Uh, there's... Yeah, the usual. Okay, I think we just picked it up. So... Appeal... Uh, okay, here we go then. <clears throat> Appeal to Sir Geralt of Rivia. The bridge his crest. Uh, Geralt of Rivia, at the behest of our merciful sovereign, her illustrious Grace Anna Henrietta, we have journeyed to the northern realms to lay before you our mission. A terrible monster has appeared in the Duchy of Tucson, a beast that has committed heinous crimes against her Grace's subjects. Only the most famous among witches has the ability to destroy the beast. Thus, we humbly beseech you to appear in the village of Holloway, where we shall await you in full hope that you will deign to hear of our woes and liberate our land from the clutches of fear. Your humble servants, Sirs, that's a long name, uh, Sirs Palperen D. Lonafel and Milton D. Payrak, Penran, knights in service of Her Grace and the Duchy. Okay. Okay, so we need to head to another town now. Is this a is this gonna force fast travel or is this It's looking like it's actually on the map. Stone cutters okay. That's not ridiculously far. So we'll get ourselves out of Oxenfurt and head 
pretty much straight there, I guess. You've been saying that for weeks. He's still here. Where's Roach? Come on, Roach. I know you're here somewhere. Come in. There he is. Take it easy. But can Roach get there without hitting a fence somewhere? He should be able to. Can we get across this bridge at Canter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a half a mind to go and talk to Vivaldi, though. If nothing else, I've got some coin to exchange with him, so... Yeah, that could be pretty good. It's not that far from here. I'm pretty sure we have been here before. Come on, Roach. Come on. Good lad. Okay, it all seems to be going on. It won't be as cocky once the Baron's men whip your arse. Well, I beat their commander, so... Um okay. In here? Guess it is. Get out of Rivia. That's ah, rather flamboyant switch. armor, guys. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The Griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyron and Palmer and de Longfour. Good to see you both. Been years. I'm glad Geralt can sure pronounce that. Share your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. Okay. That does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Um. Get rid of these bandits, worse ones will come and replace them. Well, not necessarily. We've liberated a few towns, apparently, so... Do you want a hand? So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmodon wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Very. Yeah, completely. We exactly. must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands, ever. If Pretty we much. My reprimand. We at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Okay. Things are coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. <laughs> I'd, sh I'd shift if I were you, Puscat. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what we've been seeing in the area as well. So, yeah. Hark! Come on, to both cars! I hear you better if you take your helmet off. <laughs> he mean us. 
I, Palnor and Delon Fall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> it's a little trickier. Let's make sure we've got everything. So, hangman's tawny. Let's have some thunderbolt as well. Okay, there's one. Okay. That's quenched out. That's their leader, so we should probably... Can I... Apparently I can. Let's just do him, and then guy with the shield. Oh, bad timing, bad timing. Oh, faff. All with shields. You. With that. Okay, don't take them too lightly. That's how to rend. I can get about three rends on the goat, no loot. And then I run out of stamina. Okay, and there's a couple left here. Okay, we're not done yet. God, there's a few of these guys. Okay, Will is kind of overpowered with this build. Oh, there you go. That's the render. Okay. It is over. We have banished the Scantrus. Um, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Yeah, they do. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Yeah, they kind of put Come upon down. them. It's time we delivered our message. This is a war-torn land, guys. You two seem to be from a bit of a fairy tale land. We shall see. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition it is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Okay. Yeah, sure, I mean... Shall you answer her call? Um, is that actually what she said? Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, Bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Yeah, that we sounds... certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I Do might we? add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Okay, sounds like a plan. So, the beast. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. 
I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Oh. Look. Some okay. sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. Maybe, or maybe they, they were just so far. Two. scared. The grace lent of the second. She discharged us immediately to fit. Should you answer? Did everyone spot Slender Man there? No, the yeah. Be Sorry, Some but say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Yeah, you've got Slenderman here. The, the, oh God, CD Project Red, I love you. Um, right, okay. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Uh, okay, so... Anyone tried trapping Anyone it? tried to hunt it? Knights Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need. With knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Okay, so... Let's go through all of these, Beast actually. wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast-goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. Mm. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. Okay. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Yeah. This contract need to think about it. No, 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 we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll take it. Of course we will. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from Sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! Of course we, we do! Once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Tucson. To Tucson! To Tucson! Awesome. They are somewhat flamboyant, aren't they? I'm actually quite excited. I've never seen... Tucson. I know it's on the map, but I've never seen it. Okay. Oh, it's sunny. Tucson, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. Oh, wow. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron. Okay, what's... We'll there's quite a bit of a golden glow to everything. It's a bit dreamlike almost. Okay, that's... 
That's a big lad. And he's pretty tough. What is he, a giant? Ogre? Oh my god, he's got a mill wheel. Yes, Ger G Geralt the Gallant, apparently. Oh my god! Well, you better not do that to Geralt. Is it Cyclops? What the hell that is? Okay, we, apparently we meditated, so I need to renew some potions. Um, that was... Could you not be in... Oh, I was going to be around the other side of him until you lot got in the way. Okay, he's got that. Okay. Yeah, he's not so bright. Okay, he can be slowed down. He can be slowed down, so maybe... Slow him down some more. Oh, and... Um, watch out for that. Oh, that's got some reach on it. Okay, let's get health back. Went. Okay. okay, it doesn't actually stun him completely, but... Okay, okay. Don't think I'm going to manage a rend on the guy. Maybe now. I will fail you all. Whoa. Oh God. That wasn't too bright. Whoa. Oh, close, close, close. And... Rend! Yeah! Whoa. Apparently, we're immune to that once he's... dead. Bloody hellfire! Big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it! Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Um. How did the giant, giant get here? This close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll take the trophy. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity. Well, you can have the, the head if you want. Known as the giant killer did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. 
The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney Grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Okay, so we're not going straight to the palace then. Okay, so we've got a new trophy. Beastry Golat. Beast of Beauclair. That's. Ah, uh, this is the actual contract. So he was. Golat was. Okay, giants or ogroids? Thought so. And spectres. Oh, of course, that was. Yeah. It'd have been nice to have this information ahead of time, but we didn't. Okay. Actual loot. Ooh, greater red. Okay, so... What trophy did we get then? What does it... Anything new? Head of Galant. Pretty much the same. I... I I'd have been quite happy for the other guy to have it. I mean, we've got quite a few. Follow Milton to the place where the body was found. Okay, well, he's on a horse, so we'd be a bit daft not to That's it, do likewise. Brave kid, Guillaume. Palmerin oversaw his outbreak. Guillaume is his kid. Okay, mutations and Grand Master Witcher gear. In Blood and Wine, you can undergo additional Witcher mutations to unlock new capabilities. Awesome! Um, soon you will run into a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor Monroe to learn more about these mutations. Uh, they say a master craftsman lives in Tucson who can craft witcher gear of unequaled quality. What's more, you'll receive special bonuses for wearing all part of a set. Oh, all or part of a set for this extraordinary equipment. You will not regret investigating these new options. Oh, epic. I mean, awesome source. So that's what the... Oh, peacocks. That's what the um, Grandmaster message thing is. I'm, it's a bit bright. I think it might actually be a little too bright. Let me just check with the universe. No, it seems that this is how it's meant to look, so okay. It seems awfully bright. I don't know if that's just my monitor, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially <laughs> how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. <laughs> in the service of her gracious magnificence, when we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Okay, the cockatrice in. We we not stopping Come on here? Now. No. Looks pretty nice. Can we? No. Follow you. Okay. We're coming back to check out the inn, though. <laughs> Doesn't seem like anyone's in much of a hurry here, does it? It is really rather beautiful, if a little bit bright. They have to look at the no one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Okay, which is sensing time. Um, let's not boot fish for now. Aha! Uh -huh. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. 
walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Sure, I just heard. And that was that Ogroids or Drowners? I think that was Drowners. That's enough of that. Got guests. Careful. No, it's Skurva. Looks kind of necrophagy. Tough. Okay, what about some... Okay, no, they're rock, like rock fiends. They're like rock fiends. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, for God's sake. Wait there, I'll just... Right, now back up. It's going to blow. Told you. Okay, there's another one somewhere. I've got... One in the ground? No? Uh, should do it. No, not quite. I hope the night's okay. Very much like rot fiends. Very much like rot fiends, though... Designer rock fiends. Okay, so we're still looking. Oh, hello. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Akimara. I thought we had a kidna. Oh, for God's sake. I feel a little bit like. Cat is running. Footprints. See them? And a rut made by the hull of a boat. Left recently, I'd say. Okay, footprints. Dragged some nets onto the bank. Yeah. Cut them to untangle them. A lot of blood, so the corpse must have been cut up. Quartered, maybe. Ooh. It's likely they loaded the body parts onto a boat and sailed off. Hey, what else? Mm -hmm. Gonna dive in. Check the other nets. Are we? Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Hey, dive in then. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, chest. Hey. So bits of the victim stuck inside the nets. Can I not? Turn around, Geralt. Handkerchief monogrammed D I C Duchy of something. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Wooden spoon. Okay, I Ah, talk to Milton. Okay. Self-chief. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's monogrammed DLC. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Okay. Someone's watching Seems us. We've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. It would be a story for about a week in Velen, I can tell you that. Found a monogrammed handkerchief, indeed. One thing. 
Found a handkerchief in the water, monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. Okay. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet okay. it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Okay, they've got boats as well. This is where we left the horses. We, are we going up to the pub? Oh, it does. I'm starting to embrace the, the golden glow. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. Rolling on an empty stomach. Oh, A watering hole for traders, smugglers, ah. boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. Okay. Another notice board as well. Yeah, yeah. Wanted murderous Van Gillards. Antony, Starling Dragon, Loth, alias Halfbreed. Loth, would he be the one that has one Elven ear and one Human ear? Filbert, four fingers, missing a thumb by the look of it. Ron Whitman. Okay. I'm liking this. It's kind of silly. 